So for so for the bottom one, you have to use this type of uh, quarter inch driver because it's so tight. So you can't just use anything else easily but this. Okay. I can pick it up like that. Okay. Put that out. The same thing over here. There's another one. You just have to do it. Something like that. So there's four screw and the inducer should come out. Um, just make sure you have all the wires and drain and hook. some but it's probably the glue let's see, let's see if there's anything else oh this one's still hooked up it's not totally out yet okay let me just keep unscrewing it okay and you can hook some of the hose here so that's the hose that goes to the switch here okay sure i can't just pull this out with the full screws on it so it looks like it's all connected based on those right there so i probably need to unhook that or something or it's really just being glued on so let's see how it works so we unscrew all of this in front of the inducer so we make it exposed now that's what we have right there so we can also have it cleaned up just gonna take this wire off Okay. Mahulog dyan. Huwag dyan. Mahulog. Isang siraan yan. Mahulog. Dyan na lang sa diritsos sa dibaba. O ripatong sa'yo yung mga empty na box. Tapos ilagay yan. Para hindi mahulog. So, so ito. So this one we gotta see. There is actually no screw. So it's probably just hooked by those guide. So we can just pull it out based on that casket. So it's also a good thing that we see this. So we can investigate if there's any junk garbage in this way. So there's a lot of dirt there, so that's why it's important to really clean them up, because they do all build up. Okay. Then there's no more exposed screws, so I'm gonna pull it out slowly. There. There you go. So we got that out. So that's the idea. So this is just the guide to go in here and it goes straight in. Okay, and that's the inducer out of the way. So now we see the secondary heat exchanger, primary heat exchanger. You just gotta take the screw here in the bottom and we should be able to slide it all out. One piece, um, there's wire here in the way but I think we can slide it. We might need to cut this so we can take this out of the way. This is the box. Look at the new one right there. Isn't that one? That's the new one. It's the old one. Okay. Let's see what's going on. It's, it's just the cover, so there is still one screw holding it. I'm also just going to get this drain out. out so this one we can go together and leave it there so this is just two screws that we have to leave like this one here in the instruction take this two out because it goes here and leave these two screws right there so we should be able to pull it out oh, there's two more screws right here and then we can't just get this all out we have to unscrew also all of that so the cover will come out. We're just going to do it one at a time.
case we should be able to expose expose all of the heat exchanger stuff which we can just follow and build in one so that's out okay let me just get this out also so there's nothing in the way very sharp so be very careful get the whole piece out including this screw down below so we have to unscrew something underneath so we can't get that out unless you unscrew it down here in the bottom right there okay. and there's another one here okay okay so we unscrew everything in the bottom free of the cover hopefully yep it's moving now okay so we can take out the whole thing let's see if i hit anything so we did unscrew this probably we didn't have to unscrew this but that's how you want to So we have to move out that screw. So maybe I'll just unscrew that thing up. Anything that's hitting this stuff. That way it will just slide. It's just holding the control board. Okay. Everything has to come out. This is the final countdown. And screw this, maybe it helped just to get it more space. Just to get it more space. The more space we can slide it, the better.
getting inside. Yeah, I messed that one. I'm still hitting something. And screw this side. So the new one we have to build the same way like this. Okay, and go from there. I'm just gonna how it's being hooked up. That's how everything is. We're just gonna follow it and it should be good. Yeah, you got a leak in the bottom right here. So we're looking at this. One, two, three, yep, right here. So they're leaking down here. And that, so when you don't clean them up, it's gonna overflow in the back because it's clogged up. This is the secondary heat exchanger, primary heat exchanger. So we're gonna see and screw this and see how it looks like. So we know what's going on. That's why the newer model, they're no longer using the metal, they're using plastic. Look, it's all plastic inside. Right here in the back, it's a stain. Oh, it's still plastic. No, plastic. It's all plastic. So it's a, a look stainless outside, but plastic internal. So it should never rust anymore, like this old version. So that's what it looks like for a, a bad heat exchanger, okay? Bad heat exchanger, what's gonna look like? This is the back side of it. So from primary going to secondary, that's what it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna build this just like that. There's like uh, four burners connected into the secondary with this gasket around it. So, so all right, let's do it. Close me. So that's what it looks like the old one, the new one, all of this primary, secondary, rebuild. Not rebuild, but uh, replacement. Okay. Mm. The primary doesn't have a hole in it. There's really no hole in it. It's just that it's clogged up. There's a clogged up secondary heat exchanger. Okay. 
this is what it looks like. 